for the following exercise, write an equation for the line graphed. All right, so first thing is when I look at this equation, right, I, or excuse me, when I look at this line, it's not an equation, it's a line. The equation produced the line, but it's not an equation. Um, I first have to ask myself, well, what type of a line does this look like? Does it look like a linear line, a quadratic, a so on and so forth, right? Because they all have different general forms, and that's kind of where I would begin. So I would say to myself, well, this thing looks kind of like a linear line. Knowing that, you have to then memorize the linear line equation, the general. Y is equal to mx plus b. And what this basically tells us is that a linear line will be defined by its slope and by its y-intercept. So when they say, write an equation for the line, they really want to know this equation when m and b are known. Meaning y is equal to, I don't know, 4x minus 10, right? I mean, this would be a valid equation. We know the slope, we know the y-intercept, very good, okay? What also would be valid is if I had this, y is equal to 4x. Because if y is equal to 4x, what's b? You might say it's not there. Right. Wouldn't, that, wouldn't this be the same thing as saying plus zero? So this is actually what b is, right? b would be zero in that case. All right. Knowing that, basically, now I, gotta, I have to focus on these two pieces. i got to find the slope of this line and the y-intercept. Now, when you're given a graph, the y-intercept, most likely you'll be able to identify it just from looking, right? Remember, the y-intercept is defined at the point at which the graph or the line will intersect the y-axis. So it looks to me like this graph exactly intersects that y-axis right at y is equal to 3. So that is the value of the y-intercept, 3. Okay. Now, since I know my y-intercept value, I can easily now find the slope. Okay. I only need to choose one point on this line now to do so. Any point except for the, actually the y-intercept. Reason being is because, remember, the y-intercept here has coordinate value of 0, 0,3. If I plug in zero here for x, what happens to m? It disappears, right? That's what we're trying to solve for, though, in this equation. So that's not going to work, all right? So why don't I choose any other point? I don't know, right? Let's choose this one. And this one looks like it has a value of 2 comma, well, I'm really off there, right? 2 comma 3. So this is going to be 2 comma 3. I'm not really sure what that chuckle was, but uh, okay. So what I now realize is I know an x value. I know a y value on that line, and I also know the uh, y-intercept of that line. I can then find the missing piece, the slope. So let's plug it in. y is 3. The slope is unknown. The x value was 2, and the y-intercept was 3 as well. Okay? So let's solve for m. So 3 is equal to 2m. I don't know why that became an x. But 2m plus 3. I got to subtract 3 from both sides, right? And now what we're going to get is 0 is equal to 2m. Divide out the 2 from both sides, and what do you realize? m will be equal to 0. So this is the slope, okay? This is the slope. Now, how can we write the equation? Well, if this is the slope, and this is the y-intercept, I can now plug it on into my equation, right? y is equal to mx plus b. So m is 0 times x, plus then 3. What's 0 times x? 0. So y is just equal to 3. So this is the equation that defines this line. Right? All horizontal lines, perfectly horizontal lines, have y equals some number. Okay? Basically, it's just y equals the, um, the y-intercept, basically. You can memorize that. Right? x, x equals a number would be the exact opposite. It would be like a vertical line. So here I know that this line would be x is equal to, let's just say hypothetically, negative 3. All right? So I know that that's the case. Anyway. Um, okay. So take a look at this one now. Try it on your own if you like. All right? I'm actually going to run, I'm literally just going to run through this. Think about the nature of what we did over here and what we did, what we're going to do now over here. It's always good to think about shortcuts too. This is a perfectly horizontal line. So as we just stated, it's going to be y is equal to some number. And remember, this number really represents the y-intercept. So in general, for horizontal lines, you can even write this out. y will be equal to b, right, for horizontal horizontal lines, okay? So what's the y-intercept here? Well, it looks like it passes through. I mean, you might have to zoom in a little bit there, but right, it looks like negative 2.5. So essentially now, y will be equal to negative 2.5. And look, you're done, 
right? That's it. If you wanted to write this thing in a fractional form, right, you can say that y is equal to negative 5 over 2. It doesn't matter. They're both equivalent. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Have a great day.